Hi everyone, the Partial Prophet here. Thanks for tuning in. So I wanted to remind you that we know in part and we prophesy in part. And then when Jesus comes, we will see fully. So today I wanted to talk about, did the good doctor predict the coronavirus? Okay, so the good doctor is a um, TV show on ABC. And um, it's on Monday nights. Um, and so... What was really interesting was that in season two of The Good Doctor, they had a show called Quarantine, um, and I actually just watched it the other day, and uh, um, what I was wondering is if we can consider that like a prophecy of the coronavirus coming. Now, um, I am not saying that the writers of The Good Doctor are prophets. What I am saying is that... Um, in the Bible, we see that God can even use a donkey to speak for him. And so what I think might be possible is that God directed the writers of The Good Doctor to write a show that gave us a warning about the coronavirus to come. Um, so that's what I was thinking. Um, and so the show was called Quarantine and it was actually a two-part, um, like show um or storyline two-part storyline um and um here let's go to the screen okay so let's talk about just the show in general it was called quarantine which is really interesting um you know because we've kind of been in a type of quarantine um what was interesting is that it was the winter finale last year of the show um, and so that aired on December 3rd in 2018. Um, so what's interesting about it being the winter finale is that if you understand that, like, our judgment with the coronavirus came um, in what God would consider, like, a winter time. Like, a time, like, judgment comes in winter. Okay, so, um, so it was interesting that the first episode was the winter finale. So there's that. And then um, what was very interesting too, so like season two, it was episode 11. So I thought that was interesting because 11 is definitely a number for judgment. Um, what was interesting too is that it was a part two. It was two parts um, to the storyline. And see, what's very interesting to me about that is that I think the coronavirus is a two-part judgment. Um and so, um, you know, we've been in the part one, which is the quarantine part of it, but I think we're going to see Israel get attacked and that's going to be part two of this, um, plague judgment. Um, and so I thought that was interesting that this was a two part episode. Um, and then what was very interesting is that part two aired on January 14th in 2019 um, and so that was very interesting because that was actually a year and a day to when um, there, there was a man who flew from um, China to Washington, the state of Washington, um, and he arrived in America on January 15th. Um, and then he ended up um, getting the coronavirus. And so they thought um, he was the first... A uh, case of coronavirus in America. Um, and it, it was interesting with him that he was in the state of Washington. It was interesting that the first case showed up in Washington. Now they've been coming up, they've been thinking it might have been here before that, you know, so we're not really sure. Um, but it's interesting that um, these two episodes of The Good Doctor were in December and January. So, you know, maybe it was going on in December too, and we don't really know. But it was definitely going on in China in December. Um, so, so the timing of this episode is really interesting. Um, and then it was interesting too, that it was January 14, 2019, cause you know how it's called COVID-19, you know, so there's a connection to the 19. Um, and then what I thought was interesting too, is that, um, you know, so the TV show is called the good doctor. Okay. Um, and what's very interesting is that if you understand 
that the coronavirus is judgment from God and that we need the Messiah to come and save us from this judgment. Um, then it's interesting about the name, the good doctor, because, um, we need the true good doctor, who's the Messiah, to come and save us from this disease. Okay, to save us from this judgment. Um, so I thought that was kind of interesting. So who's who's the real good doctor? Um, and then, okay, so let's talk about what was in the show. So what was interesting is that what what ha it started with, they had two patients from the airport that were on the same flight. Um, that, um, were sick and that they were treating. Um, and it turned out that they had this contagious respiratory virus, um, and very similar to the coronavirus, like how they described it. It was, it was causing fluid in lungs. They were having trouble breathing. It came on quickly with these people. It was deadly. It killed these two patients from the airport, like right away. Um, and then it was an unknown virus. Um, they didn't know how to treat it, you know, so they had to call the CDC and get them in, um, you know, to figure out what to do with it. Um, what was very interesting too, was that the quarantine happened really quickly. It was like, boom, they figured out there's this virus. They shut down that part of the hospital immediately. Um, and so there's just been a lot of parallels to the coronavirus because, um, you know, we believe that the coronavirus came over from China, you know, through, you know, people flying back from China. Um, you know, it's definitely a respiratory vi virus is definitely very contagious. Um, it's definitely caused our country to shut down like almost right away, almost overnight, um, really quickly, you know, and, um, um, you know, and it, it has seemed to move really fast in the country. Um, you know, just, it was a real quick thing that really came into this country. Um, you know, and it was like one day we were good and the next day, boom, you know, we're in lockdown. Um, you know, our lives were like turned upside down, like all of a sudden. Um, and then, so also in the show, they were having to wear hazmat suits because of the, um, Con, you know, the con contagious virus, um, they had to call in the CDC. So all stuff that we're talking about, um, during these months with the coronavirus, you know, hazmat suits and CDC. And then, um, they were, um, the one doctor was, um, one of the doctors caught it and she couldn't breathe. And so they were talking about intubating her. Um, you know, so all stuff that we've heard about with the coronavirus, um, and then it was very interesting that this virus on the Good Doctor show <clears throat> was caught by a doctor in an EMT um, because, you know, we have the same problem now with the coronavirus that doctors are catching it, you know, um, other, you know, essential personnel are catching it, you know, paramedics and firemen and, um, you know, all the people that are out in the public, um, you know, so that was kind of interesting. What was interesting too is on the Good Doctor show, it was very stressful for the doctors. It was, you know, a very stressful show. They were running around trying to do stuff. I mean, on the show, part of the problem they had was they didn't have enough doctors. Um, and then it was a lot of the, um, um, what do you call it? The residents, you know, the, um, you know, like the Good Doctor and the people that he worked with that weren't fully trained doctors, you know, trying to deal with a bunch of stuff. Um, you know, but I just thought it was interesting that it was really stressful for them. And then it, it was so stressful that the good doctor, um, Sean had a meltdown. Um, so I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, you know, so definitely, um, you know, there was definitely some things that, uh, tied into the coronavirus that we're dealing with now. Um, so, and then one of the things that I thought was interesting, like if we think about like Jesus being the good doctor that we really want to help us with this coronavirus, um, you know, so then think of like the good doctor being, you know, kind of like this false messiah or something like that, who isn't really going to save us. Um, you know, so that like, he could be like a picture maybe of Trump, 
you know, and so it was kind of interesting where he had a meltdown, um, because we have Trump sort of kind of having a meltdown during this coronavirus, um, time, um, you know, because really Trump doesn't know how to deal with it. So I thought that was kind of interesting, and there might be a lot more, um, you know, uh, other things, you know, prophetic connections that we might be able to find. Um, but I'm just kind of doing a quick overview. Um, and then, so what else was interesting in the show is that there was a surgery that, uh, was being disrupted by the quarantine. And so I thought that was interesting because, um, I mean, I actually had a fa family member whose surgery was disrupted by, the coronavirus, um, you know, and so we saw that happening, that they immediately shut down elective surgeries, um, you know, and really made it difficult for people dealing with various health issues. Um, and then we saw on the show with the quarantine that families were separated. Um, and so like one of the doctors, Dr. Park, he couldn't get to his son. His son was on one side of the quarantine and he was on the other side of the quarantine. Um, you know, and so I, I thought that was definitely a connection because we definitely saw, you know, families separated during the coronavirus, you know, and then especially like the sick people, um, you know, family members couldn't be there, you know, when they were in the hospital because of the contagious nature of the coronavirus. Um, the other thing that was interesting about the TV show, The Good Doctor, um, was one of the storylines was a pregnant girl, um, with labor pains, um, during the show and she ended up having a baby and it was a baby boy. And so I thought that was very prophetical because if you understand, okay, so I wanted to make sure you understood this, that I believe the coronavirus are, um, that, you know, all this that we've been going through is labor pains, um, connected to, you know, um, you know, so we're going to have a birthing and I don't know if, you know, maybe some of you don't understand what the birthing is, but what we're going to birth is the Messiah. Um, and, you know, so all the labor pains that we've been going through have been um, preparing us, you know, getting us ready for the coming of the Messiah. Um, so that's why, you know, on the show, it was interesting that she had a baby boy. Um, so, and then it was, you know, it was kind of like a happy moment when we heard the baby boy crying. Um you know, so that, um, was interesting. And then what was very interesting too about the show. So, you know, one question you might have is, well, so what, you know, what good does it do, you know, to look at this show? We already had the coronavirus, you know, we don't need any more warnings, but it's interesting. We might have some other clues in the TV show, um, that are prophetical. Um, and so one of the things that I thought was very interesting was when the show ended and they went back to normal life, Christmas music was playing. Um, and, um, and even in the January episode, you know, I mean, that's when it ended, um, you know, they walked out and it was Christmas time. Um, and the reason why I think that's very prophetical is because, you know, obviously Christmas is the holiday about the birth of Jesus. And so if we understand that we're in labor pains, so that we can birth the Messiah, so that the Messiah can be birthed. Um, you know, the fact that when the um, quarantine ended on The Good Doctor and they went back to normal life, Christmas music was playing. So what that shows us is that what we need, I mean, it confirms my thinking that we need the Messiah to return, you know, to come to earth and then we will be able to return, that God's people will be re be able to return to back to normal life. Um, so that's what I am thinking about that. Um, and then um, another one last thing was what was interesting for season three, which was this year. You know, I thought it might be helpful to look at this season finale in season three to see if there's any clues there maybe that God's given us. So it was interesting that there was a massive earthquake in San Jose in the season finale. Um, and so I thought that was kind of interesting because obviously in Revelation, we see a lot of um, talk about earthquakes, you know, in, in Matthew 24 too, about in the last days, there'd be earthquakes. 
um, and, um, you know, so I thought that was interesting. Um, it was interesting because it was like an earthquake and the, um, the, you know, some of the good doctors, some of the doctors got, um, hurt by the earthquake. Um, you know, so another just really apocalyptic type, um, <laughs> you know, episode. Um, so that was kind of interesting. And, you know, so that could be pointing to, um, you know, Israel getting attacked by its enemies, um, you know, could be some shadows with that. Um, you know, and that's interesting that that happened in season three, um, because I really think we're kind of waiting for the third day, um, is, um, you know, cause we hear a lot about the third day and that's when Jesus was resurrected. Um, so definitely interesting. Um, okay. So, um, that was my thoughts about the good doctor. There's probably a lot more that we could talk about. Um, um, so, I mean, it's kind of interesting cause the Bible talks about how, you know, God, um, you know, usually lets his prophets know something ahead of time. Um, and so, you know, maybe, you know, before he does anything and maybe because with the coronavirus, he didn't really have any good prophets out there that he was speaking to, um, you know, to really, um, warn the people. And so that, um, you know, cause a lot of the prophets that we have are like really false prophets kind of really saying like peace and safety. Um, you know, and so maybe this is what God chose to do was to use a TV show to give us a warning. Um, so that's my thoughts. I'd love to hear any of your thoughts. If you want to leave any comments, I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. Um, and so it's always interesting to see, um, after an event where, um, it was, you know, prophesied, you know, like in TV shows and stuff ahead of time. Um, so thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate you listening, um, and I pray that you're blessed today.